hi guys welcome to my channel if you're interested in this look keep on watching well hey today i'm reviewing this wig and it is the futurist equal frontal lace 100 percent this is definitely a tongue twister 100 percent hand tied wig it is a 13 by 4 frontal and it's a kinky straight wig i absolutely love it um so this is like um the best synthetic kinky hair wig i ever had this is my second time ordering it so it comes with a perfect hairline i really don't customize it you can you know as far as plucking and everything but i really don't probably i'll probably do a little plucking but i absolutely love this wig so i'm just showing you the construction of the wig and um the lace right there and yep i'm gonna cut all that lace off and i'm gonna put it on my head so my head is rather small i think so it was really snug and i don't remember it being this snug And it was super tight for me so I'm just showing you guys the hairline it looks perfect to me I love it um, it can use some plucking but I like to just put on my wigs and go like not to the point that it looks wiggy but to the point that I don't have to do a lot to this wig and for me I don't think you have to do a lot to this wig besides cut off the lace so that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna stop talking now and you guys can keep watching Hey, I'm just putting some pressed powder all over the lace so it can look a little bit more natural. So I don't glue my synthetic wigs down. I use some scurrilous knot and some spritz and I'm going to blow dry it down. So I did experience a little bit of shedding, um, yeah, but this wig is really full and thick and I love it. Here I am just trying to find, um, a good part in space for myself just to see if I like it. To me, you honestly don't even need baby hair with this. Like, you can just, you know, leave it as is. Um, I did try a little bit of baby hairs. I'm not the best at doing baby hairs now. So, you know, I was just trying to finagle this bagel. But I don't think you really need baby hairs. Like, I don't really think it's necessary.
So I believe this wig is like 18 inches and this is the back of the hair. It looks so full. I love this wig. I'm going to buy a couple more. But it looks so full and it comes down to my boob area. So I would say it's about 18 inches. And I'm just using these bobby pins for extra security. Like it is glued down, not glued, it is gelled down in the front. So that's not going anywhere. But like I said, it was a little tight when I tried to use the straps in the back. So it was just hanging in the back. So I'm just gonna put some bobby pins down there. And right here, I am going to try to flatten out that part just to make it look more flat and realistic. And I'm also gonna take the flat iron and like run it through this wig I don't really know how much heat it can take so I'm just testing it to see if it can get out of those if it can get those little crinkles out which if it doesn't I don't mind I love it but I was just seeing what I can do So sis, this is the final look of this wig. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to comment down below, like, and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in my next video. Bye.